Hey you guys, welcome back to P Page channel. Today we'll be cooking a ribeye steak, black and ribeye steak, topped with crawfish sauce. Delicious. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, this is what we're gonna be seasoning our steak with: garlic powder, onion powder. Trust me, this is I love this season right here. The steak magic. This right here. It's good, I love it. I'm gonna use some black pepper and paprika for color because we're gonna be blacking these steaks. So stay tuned. Okay, make sure you season it on each side. So we about to we season this side and we're about to flip them. This is thin rubber steak because I like the thin, I don't like the thick steaks. Flip them over, and we're gonna season it on this side with uh, all our seasoning. Our steaks is all seasoned up on both sides. Get ready to cook these bad boys. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna marinate. I usually marinate this overnight. But I'm gonna marinate this while I'm getting my other ingredients prepared. My roasted potatoes and a little bit. I use this to marinate Italian dressing. So all I use, I'm putting here, we're gonna just marinate and now we're about to work on cut our potatoes up. Okay, we're about to work on our potatoes. As you can see, I washed them already. I washed them off. And I'm about to cut these up. Cut them up just like that. And cut them in little pieces. Just like that. I'm going to put them in all the water right here. Put them in water while you're cutting so they don't turn brown. Okay. We're going to cut these up. And I'm going to show you how I do them. Okay, now I got them all cut up. Now I'm about to rinse them one more time. And then after that, I'm going to put some water in there. I'm going to cut up some seasoning. To put, to put in our, um, our potatoes. I got to tell you guys that um, yet I'm about to season my own um, potatoes and we're gonna use my all-time favorite or bake we're gonna use some garlic powder some pepper We also gonna put some um still I'm, I'm gonna use chicken broth instead of I'm gonna brown them in chicken broth instead of water. Okay. We got our potatoes washed, clean, seasoned, our onion, celery, bell pepper. And we're gonna let this cook down. And don't forget to add your minced garlic to this also. Just like that. So we also going to be doing some garlic, butter, shrimp so I'm about to clean them and divine them and get them cooking 
Okay, I took the head off. I took the head off the shrimp. And I'm going to leave the shell on. And I'm going to just split it. Down the back. And the vein them while the shell's still on. As you can see, I have the potatoes almost done. Smells so good. Smells so good. I'm the flavor. We're getting our cast iron skillet hot for our ribeye steak. They'll be marinating the owl. We didn't drop our first steak, but we'll drop the second one. Okay. We're gonna let these things cook on about five minutes on each side. And I'm gonna finish them in the oven. I love my steak tender. So we're going to be flipping it over in a minute. Oh, it smells so good. Flip one, but to flip this one, we're cooking on about five minutes. But to flip it, look at that. Okay. And after this side cook for five more minutes, then I'm gonna place them in the oven, and we're gonna work on uh, the crusty sauce for the topping. So you, as you can see, our potatoes almost done. I had drained some of the juice off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some, a little, just a little heavy cream on our potatoes. Just like that. About a half a cup. Just a tablespoon of butter in here. I'm going to let this cook about five more minutes and it's completely done. Now we're about to work on our crawfish sauce. The same skillet we did our steak in. With all that seasoning. The flavor. We'll put our butter. And I cut up uh, some onions and bell pepper. A little celery. I'm going to put a lid up in here. And I'm going to um, put a tablespoon of garlic. And then we're going to let that cook for a little bit. And then we're going to add our crawfish to this. So we got all this little seasoning going. Just like that. And we're going to add our tablespoon of garlic in there. Let all this 
cook for about five minutes. And then we're gonna add our crawfish to this. And I'm gonna show you how to make the crawfish sauce. So this is our garlic and bell pepper, onion, and celery. We're cooking about five minutes. Now we're about to add our crawfish. We're not, I'm not gonna use all these crawfish. I'm gonna use half. This is a pound, but I'm gonna use just half. Just half of it. And some of the juice. Because that's where the flavor is at. Okay. And that's all we're gonna do right now. Just like this. We're gonna let this cook. About five more minutes because the crawfish tails is already done. We just gotta get all this all mixed together and married together. And then we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream to make our sauce. And a little Parmesan cheese. Alright, this gonna cook in about five minutes. Now we're about to add. We're about to add just a little. Just like that. We don't need a lot of the heavy cream. Just like that. Oh, it smells so good in here. And we're just going to season this just a little bit. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a spoon of garlic powder. Of course, <laughs> my obey. Some black pepper. Like that. Some perico for color. Okay. Mix all this up. Ooh. Smells good. Now we're about to eat this a little tablespoon of um, Parmesan cheese. Just like that. And this is our delicious crawfish sauce. We'll just cook a few more minutes and it's gonna be done. Oh, where is that? I'm gonna add some, some parsley flakes in here. Just like that. So we, what we about to do now, I'm about to do my shrimp. Some garlic butter shrimp. With some lemon. Just like that. Cook that. Roll it. This is where I was shrunk. Squeeze some of that lemon juice. In there. I'm let this cook a little bit. I'm gonna season this a little bit. And I'm gonna put our shrimps in. I'm just seasoning this a little bit with a little obey. A little onion powder. 
garlic powder. And we're gonna do some paprika for some color. Okay. And now we're about to add our shrimp. We're gonna mix all this up and get this all this flavor mixed together. I just add a little chicken broth to this. Just a little. So I will shrimp. I'm about to flip them over. Ooh, it smells so good. That garlic and lemon and seasoning. It smells so good. I'm gonna flip them over. Okay. It smells so good. Lemon, garlic, I mean, butter garlic chunk. We can say lemon because we put some lemon in here also. Our steak is done, our blackened steak. Our black and ribeye is done. So everything just about done. We're about to plate up, and I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, this is the finish. Our garlic butter shrimp, our creamy roasted potatoes, our ribeye steak with our creamy crawfish sauce. And I did some green beans. So this is our plate. I'm about to go all the way in in this. Yes, I was waiting all day for this. This is so bad. Yes. So thank you guys for cooking with P-Page. <laughs>